nothing came into this match on the back of two straight wins and were looking to move off the bottom of the table for the first time all season. And they were given the chance to make a perfect start to the match when Jamie Barkley filled Robert Thompson in the box in the 19th minute. William Dyer stepped up to take the penalty, but it was Barkley who redeemed himself with this excellent save. Stenner's Moore then took the lead after 33 minutes when Mark Gulhaney's cross found Alan Cook in the box who slotted the ball past Greensmith. Cook with his fourth goal of the season. In the second half, Brecon got themselves back into the match when Paul McLean launched the ball forward and Dean Shields flicked it through for Andrew Jackson to fire the ball under Barkley. Within five minutes of the equaliser, Brecon were ahead. After McLean's long throw plus chaos in the box, Brecon were able to reset possession with Dyer's cross catching out Barkley and allowing substitute David Wellston to knock the ball into the net. Weatherson with his second goal for his new club. Stitters Muir won a corner in the 19th minute and when Cook's cross found Carlos Manzana on the edge of the box, he produced a finish worthy of winning any match. The Spaniard plucking the ball out of the air with a superb first goal for Stenner. Full time, Stenner's Muir 2, Brecon City 2.